NES fans game of the week, Super Mario Brothers. I'm a little bit under the weather, so I apologize for how my voice sounds. But yes, Mario Brothers, the classic, of course, is the game of the week. And yes, I want to go ahead and play this. It's been a while since I've been able to do a NES fans game of the week video because I've just been so freaking busy. But here we go, of course, the classic Super Mario Brothers. And of course, NES fans game of the week has got to be at some point again, right? AC freaking W. AC freaking W. AC freaking W. E C dub C W E C dub E C freaking W E C freaking W Flower power. Ah, oh. I, miss, I mentioned this before in my, uh, a long time ago. Uh, in the first level, 1 1, I thought the uh, mushroom was the enemy when I first played Mario Brothers because I was so new to the game and my friends watched me play was like no you collect the mushroom it's not the enemy oh <laughs> and then later on I see the lost levels years later as the poison mushroom so that was funny how that happened and when I was a kid I didn't know death run this game have not been able to do it on YouTube so let's see this would be a no death run highly doubt but you know whatever Still intact so far, of course. And yeah, I believe I yeah I did a short recently saying my favorite trilogy on the NES. I believe I did say the Mario Brothers trilogy on the NES, one, two, and three. I definitely loved all three of them on, on the NES. Oh, oh, no death run, almost ended right there. I did a no death run attempt uh, back in uh, 2015 in a video. I forgot how far I got. World 7 2, I think, before I died. I was like, dang it. Alright, that's my best run. I'm going to upload it. Recently, uh, well, it's been a while. I had been playing Super Mario Brothers Special, and it got pretty far in that, but still have not beaten it yet. Have not given up on that project. Hopefully, I'll pick it up again soon. E C D C D for you. Let's go. To AC Freaky W. To, to AC Freaky W. Ah. Yes, check out NES Fans on Facebook. Link is in the Premiere Chat right there at the top of the Premiere Chat. Also in the description box. If you're on Facebook, NES Fans, over 100,000 100, likes. I think a lot more than that by now, but man, they have been around for 10 years. I have a big following on Facebook. I've been following them since 2017. Been a uh, administrator with them since 2022, I believe. Pretty good page. Pretty good guys that run it too. E C dub. Oh, 
Here we go, the water elves. E, C, W. This game is E, C, W. E, C, W. E, C, W. Freaking ADD fish. This game is easy to Nice, got all six of them. Dang, I can't do that trick anymore, the extra lives trick with the Koopas. I totally forgot to do that. When I was a kid, I could nail it. And I remember when I got so many lives, and then all of a sudden, they get game over when you die. Your life counter right there turns to different shapes and stuff. I was like, what the heck? It was a, like a weird glitch or whatever it was back then. Oh, <laughs> good one. Oh, no. Oh, shoot.
World 4 2 coming up next, jeez. But I remember when I first got to this level here when I was a kid, lack of two, my friend's sister was like, Watch out for the guy throwing cherry bombs at you. Losing the fire flower. Fire power. No warps here. Try not no, not gonna warp in this playthrough. I only have so much time to beat this game, so hopefully I'll beat this game in one run. Don't have too much time to play record, but I'm gonna just mainly for promotional purposes to promote NES fans this week. Since this is the game of the week. Wow, really? First death. No death run is done. Or destroy, whatever. Failed. And that's how I die. Really? What the heck, man? Get together, Ronnie. I wanna use my I wanna make the excuse I'm a little under the weather, but it sounds like a lame excuse, but yeah, I just what a lame way to end a no death run. It's not a no death run attempt anyway, but I'm still hoping to accomplish that. Right, here we go, world 4 4 to see if I remember how to get through the maze. It is an amazing level. Went the wrong way already. Not sure, or did I? No, 7 2 is a little bit more challenging. When I was a kid, my friend taught me this path right here. I had already beaten the game anyway because of warping, but it was still cool to figure out. Oh, dang, hurry, 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 hurry. It was still cool to figure that out, or when someone taught me that, that was cool back then.
Dang, man. I was close to getting past him. Brothers, dude. So hard to get past. Look at that, man, dude. Come on, dude! Land on the platform! What was that? Thank you. 
emo land here. Depressing looking stage. Reminds me of that one uh, town in Castlevania, too. It's deserted. Great looking. Oh, jeez. How am I gonna. Oh, shoot. Come on, there we go. That was a good run before my game over. Man, dude. All right, second run here. Let's go. Will I beat the game this time? We'll see. Easy freaking W. Easy freaking W. Yeah, it was around this time I was playing this game a lot. This and Simon's Quest back in like uh, 88, 89 when I was really playing this game a lot. Because I never got an NES when it first came out. Heck, I had a Master System first before I ever had an NES. It was this game along with Simon's Quest. WrestleMania for the NES, Contra, that was playing a lot during that time period. Ah, fail. Of course I get hit. I remember when I beat the first Bowser, the first fake Bowser, I was telling my friends, the same friends that was telling me, no, get the mushroom, it won't hurt you. When I finally beat the first Bowser, I said, look, look, I beat the first Bowser, I beat, I beat World 1-4. And they're like, so? I'm like, what do you mean, so? I accomplished that, wow. You know, it was a big deal to me at the time. But to them, it was nothing, probably because they were so familiar with the game, and I wasn't yet. I was still getting, trying to get used to it. It's yeah, such an iconic game. Looking back on it now, remembering playing this a lot and how challenging it was, and it's, to this day, it's still a little bit challenging to me. Uh... Because, I mean, you only get so many lives to get game over, you gotta start over again. And World 8 can be a pain, especially 8 4. I'm much better at Mario 3 than I am at this game. To me, to a certain degree, this game is a little bit more challenging than Mario 3. Kid, I thought he was shackled right there. It looks like he's in shackles. If 
for some reason. I thought Bowser was in shackles, or the fake Bowser, rather, because you gotta remember these are fake Bowsers. The real one's the last one in the end. But I thought he was in shackles right there. Like, why is he in shackles? He's not in prison? I don't get it. me to heaven. I guess that's in another stage. Well, really stupid block out of nowhere. I hate that, man. It's what cost me a lot, too, in the lost levels when I was streaming that in Mexico. I think that would mess me up. Who's seen the... Oh, I think it's a fan made game. Yeah, fan made game, I think. Uh, Super Sab Sabonaya action. I can't pronounce it. It's like uh, you play as a cat or something. I think it was made in Japan. And, but you're in like Mario Brothers stages, I believe. It's been I did a video of it. It was so long ago. Maybe I'll link it in the description. I don't know. But yeah, my, but my computer, my old computer I had back then, the game was running slow on it. So it's not uh, what you see in the, my video is not how it actually runs. But yeah, I remember that game a while back. It, that game controlled you almost like I want to be the guy who remembers that. I want to be the guy. I want to be the ECW. There's these fish, as my old friend Venom22 said. ADD fish. Ooh. Well, I almost got killed right there. I don't know why I went down there. They are cheap. This game is not cheap, cheap. I know it's worth a lot of money today. Missing that. Three more lives to an extra life. Not nah, fail. Coins. 
There we go. Nice. One star power. Let's go. AC freaking W. AC freaking W. Three, four. I remember hearing that there was a rumor that there's there was a chocolate factory in this game. There was a weird rumor. I don't know what they're thinking of except the castle you see right there in the beginning. <laughs> they're thinking that's some sort of chocolate factory. I don't know. That was weird. But I remember the minus world, the minus world, and the axe trick. Where you jump on the axe and get touched by Bowser at the same time. I mean, I think I discovered that by accident. I said, like, oh, cool. for the cherry bombs. This game is the bomb. Oh, oh, look at Oh, lucky. Oh, look out. Man. I love how you can stomp on the spinies in uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 with the Goomba shoe. Just be stomping the enemies. Stomping the opposition. Firework.
right, here we go with 4-4 again. But of course the maze is easy, once you know it. This music kind of spooked me out when I was a kid. Pretty good. Scary music for the castles. That was close. As Miss Man would say, what a maneuver! Look out, look out. Oh, come on. Ah, come on. That's alright. I use Game Genie for this, but from what I heard, I think I've seen too on YouTube. Ooh, I was lucky. From what I've seen on YouTube, this game has a lot of cool Game Genie codes. Whether it's to help you cheat or to amp up the challenge. Right, bow to all the bullet bills around here. Let's go. Kill Bullet Bill. Ah, Hammer Brothers, of course. Ah. My worst nightmare in this game. Forget Bowser, the Hammer Brothers are who I fear the most in this game. Oh, 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 oh. wow, how lucky was that? Clip that, that was cool. He almost got me too, he almost got the last laugh when he died, look out. Of course, they're back. He's trying to avenge his brother. I love how you get the Hammer Brothers suit in Mario 3. That was freaking cool. That's my favorite suit in that game. Yes, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let's go. Going to heaven. Going to coin heaven. Forgive me if I don't talk much right now. Sometimes I'm like that anyway. I'll be silent during a playthrough or a stream. As I, as I said, I'm a little under the weather. But I really wanted to do this game for the NES fans for the game of the week. So I'm toughing it out here. Probably not going to talk too much for the rest of the video. Oh, like a... Uh, aha, nice. Let's go. from that time, all right? Here we go with the bullet bills. In Mario 3, what if they had bullet land as a world? Kind of bullet hell. There was bullet hell in World 8 and Dark Land in Mario 3. Bye. 
Speaking of Dark Land. It would have been cool if they had like ice levels in this game, but then think about that to Mario 2. And especially Mario 3 with Ice Land. Mario 2, the American version, that is. I don't remember if... Uh, was it Mario 2, the Lost Levels, had an ice level or not? I don't really remember. Super Mario Brothers, the ECW levels. The game was frustrating, but I was able to beat it somehow without warping. No, I did not cheat. I think I did a legit run of it on stream in 2021 without warps. Well, the All-Stars version, that is. This is a combination of Dark Land and Pipe Land here from Mario 3, it looks like. And I saw a bunch of pipe dreams, like pipe nightmares. Here's Emo Land. Mario springing into action here. That's one of those fish from the water levels. Get out of here. You don't belong in this world. Dang it, really. Got hit by the Buzzy Beetles, or as I always called them, the Midget Gorillas. I might need some Gorilla Warfare to beat this game. Come on, ah. Uh. 
Oh, come on. Dang it, man. Stupid ADD fish. Jeez, what the heck? I jumped, come on, it should have automatically like had me stomp him because he was under my feet. Come on. I told you they're cheap, cheap. Nice, extra life. Oh, thank God, let's go. Here we go, 7-4. If I remember this. All right, so far so good. I think so. And in all stars, it lets you know if you mess up. It goes nuh, 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 or whatever sound effect it is. But here, no, we won't know until you get past that part. Come on, look out! Yes, there we go. Nice. So you got Bowser and the Hammer Brothers combined here. It's my worst nightmare. All right, finally made it to World 8. Let's go. Let's see if I can beat this game. Really? And right in between there. Come on. Good run, though.
Water levels. The only water levels I really liked in a video game were like Super Mario 64. Now I got firepower. Now what's up, fish? Now what's up? Yeah, fight fire. I would say fight fire with fire. Uh, fight the underwater enemies with fire underwater. Mario's fire cannot be quenched. Here we go with this level again. fishes. Well, I am fishing for likes, so make sure to drop a like. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, get out of my face. Oh, I thought I got hit. Yeah, let's go. If only that other fish level could be that easy. Castle 2 now again.
Yeah, now what? Now I've got a fair chance against the Hammer Brothers here. They got the hammers, I got the fire. Well, if I had the fire. At least I got past the Hammer Brothers, though. Oh, no, I really do. A freaking coin block there messed me up. I was trying to jump through there. I still want to finish Mario Brothers Special at some point. I have not forgotten that. That was the game of the week on NES fans, I think, sometime last year. That's why I started streaming it. Never got to beat, beat it, though, yet. What triggers the fireworks? Is it the speed run? Like if you beat it fast or what? I don't know. I'll try a speed run here since I'm on a time constraint and this is uh, win, lose, or draw. One more game over or if I beat the game then I'm done with this run right here because I don't have uh, much time to do this. So, oh, oh, I thought I got hit. Oh, oh, I did right there. Come on, jump, 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 jump. There we go. Come on, you wanna jump? Jump! Come on! Come on, Cree! Rest in peace, Carl Weathers. World 4-2 progression. I remember summoning Salt's video about this. Speed when people were speedrunning this game. That the, the skills and the, the shortcuts or whatever they would take in this stage right here really made the difference in the speedrun. Dude. Easy freaking W. Easy freaking W. Easy freaking W. Apologize for the loud freaking dump truck outside. All right. 
Alright, the mushroom trees. Let's go. Oh man. Didn't I have enough uh, running leverage? I didn't, I didn't run first and then jump. Alright, here we go. Dang it. Whoa. Oh, I didn't start over. Dang it, I'm right here at the right in the middle of the Hammer Brothers. Hammer time. Go, 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 go. Ah. Ah. I missed him. Nice. the jump button that made you jump. Here we go. Oh! 
Wow. Wow. Clip that. I get extra life. I immediately lose it and have another chance here. Can you believe that? Jeez, dude. That was wild. That was hilarious. All right. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, wow. Timing. Perfect timing. Jeez, dude. Wow. So there you have it. Super Mario Brothers, the NES fans game of the week. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.